Hello everybody, welcome back to my show. For this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with detail fragment. Okay, so now before we start, I just uh, make something change in our database in bookmark table. Okay, so for this thing, we not use this tag 100. So now we're going to change it to waka. Okay, or we can call waka. Okay. So now I remove this side and I just hit OK. Okay, so now he's apply and OK. So now I'm I am just changing my table that the type. And now what we are going to do next is just move that dictionary that in my location to asset folder. So now I just open that dictionary location and copy it and then go to my Android Studio and go to Asset Folder. Okay, so now just move the old one and replace it with a new one. So next, we are going to remove the old application that already installed. Okay, so now it's going to be fine. Let's go back to our application. Okay. So now let's go to our dictionary fragment. So now I'm going to find on list item click for this. This is here. This is in on view created. So when user click on any item, we will get the value from this item and put its call back to the listener. That for this listener, we call it in main activity that is on method on create is in here okay that's we get it from dictionary fragment that's called back from dictionary fragment so now we got the value that sent from dictionary fragment that we are going to put it in detail fragment in method get new instance so now let's go to this method together okay so now i need uh, some global variable so i'm going to put it private i'm going to call it db helper then i'm going to call it um db helper okay and and this uh, other one is integer there's i call it um dig type okay so that's what you I get it from new instance that I'm going to define on argument define some parameter that is I'm going to call db helper and integer that is the type okay so now I just assign that value to my global variable so I call them helper I'm going to put db helper from other one there's um get from the type then I'm going to put it in the type okay so now I got this value so what we are going to deal next is go to on view created so now I just go to call to db helper dot get word that I'm going to use is with this method that key is mean the word that I get from value dict type and just put my um dict type so now I got my word so now I just declare a word that I'm going to call it word okay so now I got my word I'm going to set it to text view word dot set text then I'm going to call word dot key and next I'm going to call text word translate that is an web view so now I'm going to call method load data with best url okay so the first parameter is best url I'm going to put it null for string data I'm going to call it from word dot value and about mimi type I'm going to put text HTML okay for string and code I'm going to put UTF-8 
okay history just put it now okay so now I got that word so next I'm going to deal with bookmark icon okay so now I need to know is my word is bookmark so I just going to call my um the helper dot get word from bookmark okay I use this method that I'm going to put key here so now I just call to value okay so now I just get word from this method so I just declare an word so I call it bookmark word okay so now let's go to see something in this method that we already declare in the step when part one okay so now we make something change for this method on get word from bookmark that's we are going to put key but we not use that parameter that argument so now we're going to change this to new string okay so now we just put our our key okay so then i make something change here i'm going to define for default is null and for here i'm going to call word equal new word okay so that's it so now let's go back to detail fragment and what i'm going to deal in this here so now i just mm, declare on an integer that I call is mark then I get it from bookmark word that I make a condition equal null so if it's equal null what does it mean? it means that this word is not marked yet so if it's not marked yet I'm going to put it 0 if it's mark I'm going to put it 1 so now I got that is mark and I'm going to get it to put in in page okay so next what I'm going to do I need to set icon to my bookmark button so now I just make another one condition that I'm going to declare an integer I'm going to call it icon so icon I'm going to make a condition is mark equal one or we just make the same thing here okay so now is my word is not marked yet I'm going to get a resource dot drawable dot icon bookmark border okay and if my word is already marked I'm going to call IC bookmark field okay so now I got my icon what I'm going to do I just set to my button bookmark that set image resource by put icon okay so now let's make my code clean just format it okay okay so now I got it so let's see something change first before we continue next okay oh we got some error so for this method get new instance so we just make something change on detail fragment so now let's put on db helper here and integer the type the type that we are going to get that we get it from from what so i'm just going to copy it from here and i'm no need to rewrite this again Okay, so leave this in here and just put it here. Okay, and for this thing, what I'm going to deal with this, I'm going to call it main activity dot this. So now I just make a condition. I just declare an integer and call it dict type. So what I'm going to do, if my application run first time. I'm going to get a resource.id dot action I'm going to put the full English command if it runs a time I'm going to get it from 
string id that string id i'm going to put is as integer dot value of id okay so now i just put my id here okay it's going to be perfect so now just move everything from top and input is to bottom okay so now let's rerun this again okay so now it's calm so now let's go back and see something check okay so now it's calm so now let's mark and back and go back okay so we forget to to make a mark button here at any something when user click that button so now let's go back to our detail fragment okay so what we are going to deal with this here is when user click when user click i'm going to call db helper dot add to bookmark so i just get word from my word that is in here okay so when we use that word don't forget to put it final okay so next i'm going to call it db helper dot remove remove word okay so that's it so now let's rerun this again and see something change okay so now it's come so now let's see something change okay so now let's make this mark this word and go back and let's see it's scale okay so now it's calm let's try other one word okay so back and go back to the thing here and i just remove it and just go back yes it's removed so that's it that's it for my show so thank you for watching see you on next video bye bye